Hello, and welcome back to Crafting at Home from Aram Public Library. My name is Susan. Today, we are going to be using alcohol inks to create these little sun catchers. And that's why I have gloves on. We'll talk a little bit more about it. But our supplies are very simple. We're just going to be using a little bit of ribbon, some four inch round pieces of plexiglass, and of course, alcohol inks. Now the reason that I have gloves on is because alcohol inks stain very easily. So if you're going to try this at home, you want to make sure that you have some gloves and that your surface is protected. This is the, these are alcohol inks that belong in the library collection and I just grabbed a couple of the colors. We have more. So I have a red and I have a, a light green. I have a light purple kind of a blue green and I have a blue and I have what they call butterscotch and then the flamingo which is kind of an orange. Now I said before that this is a piece of plexiglass. You can use alcohol inks on glass, you can use it on ceramics, you can use it on metal and we're going to be using plexiglass today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take some rubbing alcohol and you want to clean the surface that you're going to use the alcohol inks on. First of all, it takes all the dust off. And secondly, it creates a smooth surface for the alcohol inks to flow. Now, I'm all, these the ones that you saw when we started. They are only inked on one side. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to put the paper underneath of it not so much because I'm worried about leakage, because this is a very thick piece of plexiglass, but because it allows me to see the colors that I'm working with. Alcohol inks are very thin. They dry very quickly, and they come out of the stopper, even though when you show you the stopper, it's tiny. They come out in huge amounts very quickly. And the one thing I've learned about alcohol ink is you think you can control it, but you can't. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to start adding some colors and see what happens. So each one of those circles is about two to three dots. And this was, I can't even read it. These are well loved, so the labels are hard to read. I'm going to add a little bit of blue. You'll notice that the colors are moving out. Now you can blow on these if you want to. Uh, you can use a straw, you can just blow on them. You can tilt the surface and the ink will move. They're already starting to dry. I'm gonna add some blue. How many colors you use is totally up to you. And you'll notice that when one color hits another color, they kind of blend into each other. Oops. Adding a little bit of green. Now this one, you're almost getting a starburst effect when the green is melting into the pink there. Uh, let's go with this one and see what happens. This is a red. And there, there is no rule. You just put the colors wherever you want to to see what's going to happen. They dry very quickly. This is called Flamingo. It's kind of a light orange. I like this butterscotch. This is kind of a neutral. You can use it to fill in spaces. It's quite light. I 
kind of a rainbow effect there. You do want to be careful about adding too many colors. There we go. Because then the colors get muddy. So we're going to let this sit for just a minute before we kind of hold, pick it up for you. And again, these are alcohol inks. This is the original library collection from several summers ago. And I know you can't necessarily see through the bottles because they are well loved, but it, you can look at this one. We've used this for three or four summers and look how much is still in there. They're, the ink lasts for a long time. And these again have been sitting since last summer. They don't dry up if you just um, pull the cap closed tightly and you can use them for long periods of time. Now you can get alcohol ink at most craft stores I have seen them sold as single bottles. I've seen them sold in sets of three. And I'm sure if you go online, you could get a larger collection. There are several different companies that make alcohol inks. These happen to be Ranger because that was available at the store that I was in, but there are others available. Some of them are thinner, some of them are thicker. This is not 100% dry, but it is dry enough that we can hang it up. So I'm just going to take a little piece of ribbon. Now you could, I have these um, on cup display hooks. You could use something like this. If you have suction cups that go on windows, you could use either a piece of ribbon or fishing string and you can hang that up in a window. Uh, this is not 100% dry, so the first thing I'm going to tell you is I would not put it any place where you have a surface that you are worried about. Because remember, it is ink. So wherever you put it, if it is wet and it touches, it's going to stain. All right. So I'm going to be brave and take my gloves off. I'm going to take this one off. We'll be hanging our new one up there. By the way, these plexiglass circles, these were four inch circles. They came with the hole already drilled in them. I believe I got them on Amazon. You can get them in whatever shape or size you want and you can get them in whatever quantity you want. I did like the idea that the holes were already drilled in them. This is not 100% dry, but it's dry enough that the color is not going to run. We're just going to put it right there. And then I am going to wait. I'm going to turn this a little so you get the full effect. An alcohol ink sun catcher. Beautiful colors. Wonderful way to end summer. Enjoy.